The King's reign had long been over. Oh, and Richard is out of control. On the track, nobody feared him. Instead, they began to fear for him. There is the battered remains of Richard Petty's automobile here this afternoon. Richard Petty still looking for victory number 201 in his career. Been a long time since number 200. I never dreamed about Richard Petty not being in a race car. Did he drive longer than he should have? Uh, you know, I don't know. I thought he would just race forever. Petty, well, you can see, he's just worn out. He's wasted. And that's unfortunate for such an incredible competitor like Richard. There were some people that thought that he should, should hang it up. You, know, you always hear that people have a tendency to remember you for the last thing you did. And you don't want them to remember you as a has-been. Sometimes I would get really upset and I'd say, have you thought about quitting? Have you thought about getting out of this? And he'd say, nope, no, I hadn't thought about it. There was no way she was going to try to talk me into quitting if I wasn't ready because I'd never been happy with quitting if I hadn't made the decision myself. The older he got, the more my mother worried about it. She always felt like you could, you could only tempt fate so many times and then something would happen. are just screaming, Richard Petty's flipping, flipping. So I'm walking down to the infirmary, and the minister, he come to the door, and he said, come on in, Linda, he's okay. And when we walked inside, there was a closed-circuit TV, and all I could see on that screen was that car up on the fence. And I thought, they are lying to me, he is dead. He's gotta be dead. I'm laying there looking at the ceiling. I hear somebody come in. She'd been crying. The wreck really did look spectacular and I know it scared her to death. And I said, you, you don't even have a clue how frightened I was because I thought that was the time that you were gone. <laughs> 